This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, March 8th, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Anne Arundel County Police have arrested Christopher Richardson Sr., a 49-year-old male of North Smallwood Street in Baltimore, on first and second degree attempted rape. On Wednesday morning at 3.17 a.m., Anne Arundel County Police were called to an address in Severn, Maryland, to investigate a child sex abuse case. The mother reported that her young child was sexually assaulted by an adult male the evening before, which would have been March 5th, at that residence. Police positively identified Richardson, and through a very quick investigation, they executed several search warrants and obtained the arrest warrant for him. He was arrested on Wednesday night at 10.15 p.m. in the 1100 block of York Road in Cockeysville and is currently being held in the Anne Arundel County Detention Center on a no-bond status. Police do say that this was not a random act of violence, but they are asking anybody with any information or any other victims to contact the Anne Arundel County Child Abuse Unit at 410-222-4733. And I need to give big kudos to Anne Arundel County Police Department. They got a call at 3.17 a.m. and they had an arrest at 10.15 p.m. that same night on attempted rape. That's just about 19 hours and a fantastic job. The Maryland House of Delegates has approved a measure yesterday to allow the terminally ill to end their lives with a doctor's help. The House voted 74 to 66 on the bill yesterday, and now it does go to the Senate. The measure would allow adults to obtain prescription for life-ending drugs if a doctor finds they have six months or less to live. The physician must certify that the person has the capacity to make that decision, and the prescription can only be self-administered. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about that bill. Maryland has also taken a step toward joining a growing number of states that have enacted legislation to prevent teachers with records of sexual misconduct against students moving from school to school. Maryland House of Delegates unanimously approved the bill yesterday to ban non-disclosure agreements for school employees who have had direct contact with children involving sexual abuse. The measure would also require prospective school employers to conduct a thorough review of the employment history of applicants. Several states have already passed that legislation in recent years to stop what supporters often call passing the trash. Over the past few years, laws have been enacted in New Jersey, Nevada, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania. I know October 1st, 2020 seems so far away, but when we have that many people that are driving or have ID cards in Maryland, it's coming up very soon. I'm talking again about the real ID driver's license or ID to allow you to get into federal buildings or onto planes. You do need to prove your identity to the MVA in order to have your ID be real ID compliant. Now, MVA has been slammed over the weeks. We've heard of four and five hour waits to get this done, and they have added an extra 2,700 appointments per week to handle the overflow. Appointments, you say? Yes, appointments. You don't just go to the MVA and wait in line. That will take you four hours. Go online make an appointment, and the MVA says they guarantee to see you within about 15 minutes of your scheduled time. Now, I did get mine done. I was in and out in about a half hour. I did have an appointment. I can't emphasize that enough because if you get caught without one of these Real ID compliant licenses, you might be in a world of trouble there. You can go to ionanapolis.net in the search box. Just put in Real ID And the article will come up. It'll show you exactly what documents you need to bring, what you need to get, so you are prepared. In other MDOT news, we are heading into spring, but right now it's a different season. It is pothole season. And we have SHA's Charlie Gishler here, and he's going to give us some details and also a hotline where you can call and report your favorite pothole. It is pothole season as we approach this transition between winter and spring and the freeze-thaw cycle on top of the record levels of precipitation that we've seen since 2018 carrying into 2019. Each day, MDOT SHA crews deploy mobile work zones and use cold patch asphalt to address the potholes on MDOT SHA highways and bridges. Cold patch is something that is used as a temporary type of fix, and once the weather starts to break and we get 45 to 50 degree consistent temperatures, we can switch to hot mix asphalt, which is a more permanent type of a fix. A pothole is formed when moisture seeps into the pavement crack and freezes, and then thaws during the warmer temperatures. This stresses the pavement, and when traffic is introduced to it, potholes form. 
We invite the public, there are best eyes and ears, to go to roads.maryland.gov and click on Contact Us to fill out a service request form if you do see a pothole on an M.SHA maintained highway, which are the state-numbered roads and interstates. Man, what I wouldn't give to have his voice. Hey, there's a new gimmick down in Ocean City. It's called Selfie Fantasy. It is a nine-room venue where you can walk in with your camera and take selfies in different rooms. Yes, apparently we are that vain, and this space is going to be debuting in May at the former Ocean City Screams building. They're changing it from a haunted house into kind of a self-absorbed selfie house. You will pay $20 to be able to walk through the rooms for 60 to 90 minutes, and you can take selfies in every one of them. They've got all sorts of props. They've got a fake bathroom. They've got an upside-down room. They will have oversized shoes, thrones, and sea creatures. All for the self-absorbed that want to throw it onto Instagram. Boy, I'm starting to sound old here. What's actually kind of cool is that it's owned by a guy named Jason Tillman, who also owns a business up here in Glen Burnie called Rage Room. And we talked about that last year, I think. And that's where you pay some money and you go into a room and you throw plates and TVs and just really get your rage out. So there, you've got something to look forward to when you go down to the beach this summer. And as Restaurant Week comes into its final weekend, and I do recommend you get out there to Annapolis Restaurant Week and experience some of the great cuisine that we have in town. We did have a contest earlier this week, and we just asked you to leave an honest review on iTunes. And I don't have a way to track those people, but I'm going to rely on you folks for being honest. And because I'm going to rely on your honesty, we're upping the ante a little bit, and we've got three gift cards to give away, each worth 50 bucks. And the $50 one to Lunas's, which was what the contest was about, goes to somebody that posted a review by the name of A.B. Gillette. I guess like the razor. I've got a $50 gift card to the chart house to somebody that goes by the name of M.I.A. Dolphin. And I would hope that would be a missing in action dolphin as opposed to a Miami dolphin personally. But, And I also have a $50 gift card to Metropolitan to somebody that goes by Kevin0624. So if you are AB Gillette, MIA Dolphin, or Kevin0624, send an email to info at ionanapolis.net along with a mailing address, and I will get those gift cards out to you right away. See, it does pay to listen to the Daily News Brief. And finally, tomorrow sometime, I'm not sure when, Look for a special episode with Lieutenant Krause from the Annapolis Police Department. I had a conversation with him earlier this week, and we're going to be talking all about their spring fling, which will be down at the Market House. And you want to make sure you mark that on your calendar for Wednesday, March 20th. If you want to get a little bit of a heads up on it, you can probably go to Facebook and Google Annapolis Police Department spring fling. Okay, that is about it for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionannapolis.net throughout the day. You want to check out the first link in our show notes because it tells you all the different ways that you can connect with us. Give us ratings and reviews wherever you can do that and recommend us to your friends and colleagues. You want to hang tight. It is Friday because we have a bunch of things going on this weekend. And of course, we have George Young with your local DMV weather forecast. And he's coming up in just one minute. Dirty house? Call a spouse. That's right. Facts are men don't always listen when it comes to cleaning the house. Spouses Cleaning Houses does. They clean almost anything. Fridge, oven, tub, showers, walls, porches, floors, ceilings, carpets, upholstery, tables, counters, pictures, mirrors, lights, fans, windows. They even take out the trash. Spouses Cleaning Houses has more than 13 years experience maintaining sparkling clean homes in and around Annapolis with respect and dedication. The friendly and flexible cleaning professionals at Spouses listen, understand, and act to meet nearly all your cleaning requests. For that breath of fresh air, clean feel, call a spouse at 410-571-9428 or at SpousesCleaningHouses.com. Just in time for your summer get-togethers, they're offering a spectacular summer savings, 20% off your first cleaning. That's right, save 20%. Just call a spouse, 410-571-9428 or at SpousesCleaningHouses.com. Spouses Cleaning Houses. Men may not listen. The spouses do. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, March 8th. 
One more cold day today for Annapolis and all of Anne Arundel County with highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s, but it'll come with gray skies and a bit of light rain-snow mix later this morning into the early evening hours. That should not present any travel problems, but will make it that much chillier out across the region. Then conditions improve tomorrow with dry skies and highs in the 45 to 50 degree range, which will be nice for the Shamrock Stroll pub crawl in Annapolis starting at noon. And then we'll see much warmer high temps in the 60s on Sunday despite some rain, which will fall primarily in the a.m. hours. So keep those plans intact for the St. Paddy's Day festivities in Annapolis on Sunday with the parade at 1 p.m. and a big outdoor fest at 3 p.m. at City Dock. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great weekend out there with the return of daylight saving time at 2 a.m. on Sunday. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DC. MDVA weather in the Apple or Google app stores and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Everybody's a dreamer. Hi there, this is John Frenet, the co-host of the Maryland Crabs podcast, welcoming you to the 7th annual Annapolis Film Festival. The film festival runs from March 21st to 24th with a full slate of more than 70 films. The festival includes four days of films, panels, parties, showcases, coffee talks, Q&As with filmmakers, directors, producers, and much, much more. Get through the door and into your seat watching some of the 70-plus great films that the Annapolis Film Festival is bringing to us once again for the seventh year. She looks so weak and fragile. That's why she tried to... Every weekend, there's something exciting going on in the Annapolis area. Be sure to visit iAnnapolis.net to sign up for a newsletter highlighting all the weekend events. Here are our top picks for this weekend. Friday. Thank God it's... Friday. Although the calendar doesn't say March 17th, trust me, this weekend is St. Patty's Day in Annapolis. All right, let's get right into it. And these first two items are our only non-St. Patty's related items. But tonight at the Summit School, located right there on Central Avenue in Edgewater, they're hosting their ever-popular designer purse bingo. Uh, since I don't carry purses and I'm not too much in designers, but there are some fancy stuff there going on. And bingo is a lot of fun. It goes from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. You can get tickets at the Summit School's website. If bingo isn't your thing, head on up to Crownsville to Lures Bar and Grill for the Upstart Annapolis Spring Launch Party. Now, Upstart Annapolis, as we all know, is the great magazine that's published quarterly by Jimmy Davies of Jimmy's Chicken Shack. And this party gets underway from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And it is absolutely free to go. They are always a lot of fun. You'll be able to get your copy of Upstart Annapolis and you'll be one of the first ones to get it. And they do have live music with Christy Allen, Jimmy Haha, and a bunch of others. All right, let's get into St. Patty's Day. Tomorrow morning, registration opens at 10 a.m. down at City Dock for the fifth annual Shamrock Stroll presented by Budweiser and Bud Light. Won't be hard to find. Just look for the bagpipers and begin to crawl your way from City Dock all the way up to Fado. $10 will get you a special koozie. We'll get you special pricing at all the different bars that are participating. And the proceeds from this, which is really kind of cool, will benefit Warrior Events as well as the Annapolis Police Department Foundation. They will have bagpipers there strolling along with you every step of the way. If you can't quite make it across the bridge and you're hanging out in Eastport tomorrow from noon till 5, and it is the crack of noon, it is the annual green beer races at the Eastport Democratic Club. Kids races get underway at 12.30, followed by the Best Dressed Pooch Contest, a keg toss, adult races. Timmy Metz and Tambo will be playing, and they're always a lot of fun. They'll have face painting by Sweetheart. You can buy your tickets right at the gate. And for those that are unaware of what a green beer race is, basically it is green beer, or for the kids, green Kool-Aid. And they put them on little trays, and you need to run from one end to the other. It's a great relay race. It's a lot of fun. They'll have live music. They'll have a couple vendors there. Tons of food. One of my favorite events of the year, the Eastport Green Beer Races at the Eastport Democratic Club. Sliding into Sunday, and it looks like the weather is going to work out for us here. It is the Annapolis St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes, it is on Sunday the 10th. It is hosted by Naptown Events, and it gets underway at 1 p.m., where it will take off up near Maryland Hall, come down West Street, around Church Circle, down Main Street, and then it will finally disperse around City Dock. There are over 100 different units that will be marching in it. Lots of pipes, lots of drums, fire trucks, 
Irish groups, and I do believe Governor Hogan is the Grand Marshal this year. While it does kick off at 1 o'clock, I would suggest getting down there a little bit early if you're looking for a good seat. Main Street will be the most packed where the reviewing stand is down there at the foot of Main Street. Probably a little bit more sparse up over by the Lighthouse Bistro. And once the parade ends, it is a new event. It is Shamrock the Dock with Dublin 5. Now, this gets underway at 3.30 p.m., goes till 6.30 p.m. It is an outdoor festival. It is free. You can buy plenty of beer. You'll have non-alcoholic drinks as well. You'll have food. You'll have vendors and the lively tunes from Dublin 5. This happens right down there on City Dock. There will be other bands as well. And Dublin 5 will take that stage at 3.30 So that is it for the weekend. Those are our choices. I'm not quite sure how we're going to be able to make it from one end of town to the other, but we're going to do our best. I know St. Patrick's is a day or a week or a weekend to get out and party. I encourage you to go out, have a good time, but whatever you do, please do it responsibly. Get an Uber if you're drinking, phone a friend, or walk home because we want to see you here bright and early on Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Imagine your child saying, Guess what I learned in school today? At St. Andrews, it happens every day. We asked Emma and Lawson why. We grow winter greens in our garden to make smoothies. Second graders are the chicken checkers, and our eighth graders take care of our goats. Our classes are the perfect size, which means we get to know each other well. And our teachers know us. Visit St. Andrews Day School's Open House, Friday, March 8th from 9 to 11 a.m. Or call 410 Two six six zero nine five two for a tour. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon. 